Hello, uh, this is uh, 2017, October, November, paper 2 2, and the question number is 6. So, in the 6a, what is uh, it asks is uh, state what is meant by an electric current. So, current is simply flow, so it should be the flow of charge. So, it should simply mean flow of charge, charge, uh, or we can also say it as a flow of charge carriers. So charge carriers means that it could be free electrons, free electrons. Uh, it could be uh, electrons and holes in case of semiconductors, and uh, uh, it could be um, uh, ions, positive and negative ions in case of electrolytes. In number B, we have got a metal wire of length L and a cross-sectional area A, as shown in Figure 6.1. All the things are given here. So I is the current in the wire. N is the number of free electrons per unit volume of the wire. V is the average drift speed of a free electron and E is the charge on an electron. So still in terms of A, E, L, and N, the expression for the total charge of the free electrons. So the total charge here should be Q should be equal to N, A, L, E. So what happens here is here, uh, A, L is the volume of this thing, volume of this thing. And uh, NAL represents the total number of electrons in this thing, this whole thing, uh, this whole volume. And when it is multiplied by the charge of one electron, it gives us the total charge. Now, by using this, we have to find this expression. So, since Q equal to this much, we have I should be equal to, equal to Q by T. That's equal to NAVE by T. N -A -I -L, sorry, LE by T, LE by T equal to NA. L by T and then E. Now since uh, uh, the average drift velocity of electrons is supposed to be uh, constant, this L by T should represent the velocity NAVE. So L by T represents, represents the velocity of the electrons. Velocity of the electrons. Now in this wire, uh, it is said that a metal wire in a circuit is damaged. So the damage is somewhat like this, uh, where the diameter has decreased. The resistivity of the metal is unchanged, yes, it should remain unchanged because the metal is the same, but the cross-sectional area of the wire is reduced over a length of 3 mm. So over this length of 3 mm, the cross-sectional area has changed, as shown in figure 6.2. <coughs> now, the wire has diameter D here, D here, and it has diameter 0.69 D here at cross-section Y. The current is equal to 0 0.50 ampere from here. Everywhere the current is same. Now what it says is, what it says is, we have to find the ratio of average drift velocity of free electrons at uh, cross section Y. So that means uh, Vy by Vx. The ratio that we have to find is Vy by Vx. So it should be equal to, it should be equal to I by I by E A Y then N divided I by E A X then N. So since everything is the same except this uh, crossing area, so it is equal to A X by A Y. And the crossing is such that it should be equal to equal to pi d x square by four divided pi d y square by four. When all of them cancel out, it should be equal to dx square by dy4. D, sorry, dy, dy to power 2. Now what is said to us is, what it has been said is, dx equal to simply d and dy is equal to 0.69d. So that means dx equal to simply d square. This is equal to 0.69d and then square. So this should be equal to, if I do it in the... Uh, calculator so what I have is so what I'll have is uh, yeah so uh, 0.69 square so that's equal to d square by 0 0.747 and d square this this cancel so when you take its a reciprocal it'll be equal to 2.1 equal to 2.1 so this ratio is equal to 2.1 or I can even write it as 2.1 is to 1. Now, the main part of the wire with cross section X, so which means 
cross section X here. So this thing here, this thing has a resistance per unit length of this much. So that is R by L equal to this much. Let me write here R by L equal to 1.7 into 10 to the power minus 2. So <coughs> for the diamond section of the wire, we have to find uh, the resistance per unit length. So here, the resistance per unit length here is given and we have to find the same for uh, the damaged portion. So, let's do. So, we know that this R by R is equal to equal to rho L by A. So, that means R by L should be equal to rho by simply A. Now, if we need to find the resistance per unit length of this uh, damage portion. So what we have is R by R by L, R by L for this Y, which is the damage portion, by R by L, this X should be equal to equal to rho by A Y by rho by A X. So that's equal to A X by A Y. So once again, this A X by A Y is equal to equal to 2.1. 2.1. So this means that R by L Y is equal to 2.1 into R by L then X. So that's equal to 2.1 into 1.7 into 10 to the power minus 2 and that will give us, that will give us, that will give us, so that will give us, uh, give us, give us, give us uh, 2.1 into 1.7 exponent minus 2 so it's equal to it should be equal to 3.57.57 uh, 57 into 10 to the power minus 2 ohm per meter so this is the resistance per unit length of this of this damaged portion now uh, <coughs> the power in this portion of the resistance is equal to power is equal to I square into R of resistance of this uh, uh, damage portion which is R Y. Uh, now uh, in order to find R Y what we have here is since R by L Y is equal to R by L Y is what we have just found it is a 3.57 into 10 to the power minus 2 ohm per meter. So that means R is equal to 3.57 into 10 to the power minus 2 into its L. And its length is given as, as you can see here, the length is 3 millimeter. So what I can have is, so equal to 3.57 into 10 to the power minus 2 into, into 3 millimeter means 3 into 10 to the power minus 3 meters. So, so this will give us the the resistance first as resistance as so let me uh, let me do the calculations here uh, <coughs> so my calculation will show that show that show that it is a 3.57 exponent minus 2 into 0 0.003 equal to so it is it is equal equal to 1.071 into 10 to the power 1 2 3 4 minus 4 minus 4 ohm now the power should be equal to current square into this r equal to the current is equal to it is given as as you can see here 0 0.250 ampere so that's why it is 0 0.50 square into 1.071 into 10 to the power minus 4 so equal to, equal to, equal to, equal to, I have 0 0.5, 0 0.5 square into 1.071 uh, exponent minus 4, minus 4 equal to. So this is power equal to 2.7 into 10 to the power minus 5 watt. So it is simply 2.7 into 10 to the power minus 5 watt. Now, the last question reads that, reads that uh, the diameter of the damage length of the wire is further decreased, further decreased. Assume that the current in the wire remains constant. So, we have to explain qualitatively uh, what happens to the power dissipated in the damage length of the wire. 
so uh, current same and the length is uh, decreased damage length of the wire should be decreased so if uh, l decreases l decreases what uh, we should be having is if uh, length uh, decreases uh, sorry actually not length actually if uh, d decreases d decreases our cross-sectional area also decreases area also decreases so according to the formula r equal to rho l by a we must have r should increase r increases increases now r increases and if i is constant i is constant then the power equal to i square r i square constant r decrease r increase. so that's why this should also increase so power should increase in the damage length of the wire